Hi everyone and welcome to another video that's helping you keeping up to date and today I have a really special 2 minute demo for you so let's kick it off One of the biggest challenges in the public cloud is around data mobility and I have a great tool that can simplify most of the challenges around data mobility and that tool is called NetApp BlueXP BlueXP is NetApp control plane and it's a single place where the cloud, storage, or DevOps guy, all of them have a single place. And it's regardless if it's on-premise, regardless if it's in the public cloud, or in a hybrid deployment. It's a single console, a single set of APIs, where they can do whatever they need to do in order to manage their data and their different workloads. BlueXP was designed to simplify complex cloud, storage, and workload operation. It makes cloud super easy for storage admin and it makes storage super easy for cloud admin. Some of the capabilities BlueXP has to offer is listed here, but in this video I'm going to focus on a specific workload. By the way, important to note that what I'm about to explain right now will apply to any data mobility challenge in the cloud. The reason I choose EDA by the way, because if we can solve the EDA data mobility challenge, we can basically solve any data mobility challenge. The EDA industry is currently transitioning from 5 to 3 nanometer chip design. This transition will happen in the next 18 to 24 months and that will require them a huge amount of data. They currently have a huge data set, but still it will increase the needed capacity four times and the needed compute to analyze all of the data set six times. That will obviously create new challenges around scalability, performance, and obviously data mobility. FSx for NetApp OnTap offers amazing capabilities around data mobility, from an option to cache your data to a secondary file system, and it regardless if it's on the same AZ, or in a different region, or even on-premise. Technology like SnapMeO that allow you to create a block level incremental forever, encrypted in flight that preserve all the efficiencies, and can move your data over TCP, to any destination, regardless again if it's cross-region or in hybrid deployments. The challenge is that that kind of setup requires some expertise, and this is exactly where BlueXP comes in to simplify that entire process. Let's have a look. When you open in BlueXP, you will see a visual representation of the different storage endpoint currently managed by BlueXP. And on the left side, the different capability it has to offer. Now, to create any caching between sites, or burst to cloud from on-premises, I'm gonna just drag my source AFF cluster on-premises to an FSXN file system in the cloud and select volume caching. Now I just need to select the volume I wanna cache and hit start caching and BlueXP will automate the entire process from creating flex group as a destination to create the flex cache relationship. Now, because it takes over 30 seconds, I'm gonna continue and create caching and hybrid caching from FSXN now back on-premises Again, select the volume name, hit caching, and that's it. Now, to complete the puzzle, all I need to do is, again, go back to the canvas and drag and drop my AFF to another FSXN file system and select replication. That will allow me to create a disaster recovery site with a mirror of my entire data. Now, from on-premises to the cloud, I just need to select a few settings, like the throttling and what type of RPO I'm looking for, hit replicate, and that's it. The entire solution is set up, and right away you can see a visual representation of that setup and where the data is flowing. Now, to create such a setup in under two minutes through a user interface, in my mind, it's the closest thing you can have to create magic. That was it. I hope you enjoyed it, and until the next one, peace.